Today I'm actually filming on the brand new Blackmagic camera app because I want to show you how to work with HDR footage in DaVinci Resolve. Have you ever had it come in and it looks all green and blown out? Well, I've got a trick to use a color space transform with the correct settings, so let's get into it. So my footage here from the Blackmagic camera, which you can see if I open up the metadata tab here in DaVinci Resolve 18.6, it sure is from the Blackmagic cam. You don't actually know what color space this is in. Well, it's actually, it's gonna be Rec 2020. So Rec 2020 is a good thing to know. If it was shot with HDR turned on on an iPhone, that's what it is. So if we go to the, uh, the color page with Shift 6 to get there, we're gonna be looking under the effects area for a color space transform to correct this to Rec 709 because that's what the rest of my project is. That's what most of the world is going to want to look at. That's what YouTube wants. So what we're going to do is we're going to change our input color space here from instead of being the timeline color space, we're changing this to, you guessed it, Rec 2020. And just like that, you can see the color is starting to pop in there, right? And the other thing we need to change is the input gamma. And every resource I found online pretty much has this incorrect. And what you want to have for your input gamma is HLG tw Rec 2100 HLG scene. So the big difference here between scene and not scene is the not scene version is not going to have as much saturation and it's going to be darker. This one is actually made for output if you're going to make an HLG deliverable or you want it to look like that on your display. It's a display referred one where the scene one is scene referred. It's about your, your camera space, okay? So that's the one you want to choose. Now, you might say this looks a little dark. Well, it's underexposed for sure. And I was just trying to protect, you know, highlights on my cheeks and stuff like that. So the easiest fix for that is to play a serial node right before it and adjust the offset. So with this selected, I'm going to hit Shift S. That loads a serial node right before it. And with doing this, I'm going to go to the offset controls and just increase the offset until I got an image that I like the way that it looks. When I'm looking at like my Flanders reference display, something that is calibrated, or you know, to be honest, if this just looks too good to your eye, I'm happy with that too. Hey, quick time out. I wanna let you know that the audio you're hearing right now, it's being recorded directly into the phone. Like there's no syncing afterwards. And that's because you can actually use any old USB like powered hub to power a USB interface like you maybe already have, like this is a cheap $50 Behringer to plug in your favorite XLR microphone. For me, it's the Earthworks Ethos that I love right here. All you have to do is just plug that in with a USB adapter to your phone. Uh, if you have an older one like I do, it's the uh, the Lightning port, but the new one, I guess, has USB-C. So just know that audio is really important and you can get great audio recorded directly into the Blackmagic camera app. Now to copy and paste this to the other clips, that's actually a really simple operation. If you're not used to doing this on the color page, you can just shift select these clips right here and then middle mouse click that's a special thing about resolve the middle mouse click the one that has the correction and you're all done the other way to deal with hdr iphone footage is actually not to use the color page at all so if i disable these grades by hitting command d and we go to our project settings down in the lower right this little cog will get us there and we can go into color management for the whole project so if we turn on color management by going to Color Science, DaVinci YRGB Color Managed, and hitting Save, we have good looking footage. Hey, if you learned anything new about DaVinci Resolve today, click the video that's on screen, and because there's so much more to learn, I'll see you in the next video.